Hey everybody, happy Tuesday to you. It's Minister Lou here. Right now we are reading out of the Apocrypha of the Bible. We are in the book of Tobit, on chapter 9. It's a short chapter today. Only six verses. No matter. Let's see what it has to say today. Then Tobias called Raphael. Raphael. I'm going to go with Raphael. And said unto him, Brother Azarius, take with thee a servant and two camels, and go to Rages of Medea, to Gable, and bring me the money, and bring him to the wedding. For Regal hath sworn that I shall not depart. But my father counteth the days, and if I tarry long, he will be very sorry. So he's saying, you know, Regal's saying that I can't leave, and my dad's counting the days that I'm gone, and if I'm gone way too long, he's going to have some problems, he's going to worry, he's going to think something happened to me. So Raphael went out, <coughs> and lodged with Gabel, and gave him the handwriting, who brought forth bags, which were sealed up, and gave them to him. And early in the morning they went forth both together and came to the wedding, and Tobias blessed his wife. That was extremely short. Goodness. Goodness. You know what? Normally I don't do this, but we're going to do chapter 10 as well because that's only... 12 verses so now we're going to read chapter 10 <laughs> now Tobit <clears throat> his father counted every day and when the days of the journey were expired and they came not then Tobit said are they detained or is Gabal dead he's like man did my boys get arrested did they get in trouble with the law or is that guy that I sent them to dead and there is no man to give him the money Therefore he was very sorry. Then his wife said unto him, My son is dead, seeing he stayeth long. And she began to bewail him, and said, Now I care for nothing, my son, since I have let thee go, the light of mine eyes. So she's like, Man, my son's dead. She has, she has, she has nothing to care about any longer. To whom Tobit said, Hold your peace, take no care, for he is safe. So Tobit's like, no, 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 no. Calm down. Calm down. He's alive. He's alive, honey. But she said, hold thy peace and deceive me not. My son is dead. She's like, no. No, I don't want to hear your lies. He's dead. And she went out every day into the way which they went and did not eat no meat on the daytime and ceased not whole nights to bewail her son Tobias until the fourteenth, fourteen days of the wedding were expired, which Regal had sworn. Then he should that he should spend there. Then Tobias said to Regal, "Let me go, for my father and mother look no more to see me." He's like, "All right, man, I stayed the fourteen days. The wedding's over. I need to go to my house. My parents think I'm dead more than likely. I gotta go." But his father-in-law said unto him, Tarry with me, and I will send to thy father, and they shall declare unto him how things go with thee. And Tobias, But Tobias said, No, but let me go to my father. Then Regal arose and gave him Sarah, his wife, and half his goods, servants, and cattle, and money. And he blessed them and sent them away, saying, The God of heaven give you a prosperous journey, my children. So he's like, <laughs> Okay. Here's half the stuff. Here's your wife. May God bless your journey that you have ahead of you. And he said to his daughter, Honor thy father and thy mother-in-law, which are now thy parents, that I may hear good report of thee. And he kissed her. Edna also said to Tobias, The Lord of heaven restore thee, my dear brother, and grant that I may see thy children 
of my daughter Sarah before I die, that I may rejoice before the Lord. Behold, I commit my daughter unto thee of special trust. Wherefore, do not entreat her evil. She's like, all right. <clears throat> when you have kids, bring them back before I die so I can meet them and see them and rejoice before the Lord. Because <coughs> more than likely, they didn't, probably didn't think that they were ever getting grandkids. I mean, she, the spirit that was with her killed her last seven husbands. So I can imagine the state of mind that these people were in, that they, their daughter finally had a husband. He didn't die on the night that they were to come into, you know, lie with each other, whatever it was. I believe it was lying with each other. But they didn't do that. No. Not at all. Hmm. Those were two good chapters there. Well, I'm glad that I've been able to read this tonight to share the word with you guys. These are good books. They're very interesting. The kingdom of heaven's at hand, everyone. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is coming back, and he is going to take his children. And I don't want no one here left behind to suffer the, tri the wrath and tribulations that are to come. But it's not my will be done, it's the Father's will be done. But if you're not right with God, not right with Jesus, and you know it, <coughs> excuse me, and you want to be, the time has come to repent of your sins and to turn away from them. It's time to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. <laughs> No man gets to the Father unless they go through him. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. It's time to know and understand what Jesus did on the cross for us and to understand about his resurrection that happened three days later. It's time to know who our Heavenly Father is and to come to know everything he's done for us since the beginning of time. I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. And our Heavenly Father loves you guys. Shalom.